beautiful people welcome back to my channel i am precious and today we are going to make special pineapple ginger juice and trust me guys after watching this video you will always want to prepare your own pineapple juice at home i'm not going to the store to buy reason is that this is so fresh and it tastes very special and again it doesn't have preservatives the process is very very easy and the requirements are things you can lay your hands on very um, easy and cheap to get in the stores so guys keep watching this video and i know you will enjoy it to my old and returning subscribers i love you guys so much thank you for all your support and all your love and to my new subscribers if you're watching this video for the first time hit that red button below subscribe for me and god will bless you so let's get to business and in case you don't know you are watching So guys, to achieve this special pineapple juice, these are the things I'm going to use. First, I'm going to be using pineapple. And secondly, I'll be using lemon. And the third one is ginger. Um, I've already washed the pineapple. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling off the skin. This pineapple smells so good and tastes as an extremely sweet. Make sure I remove the bag, the black heads. I don't like it. It's so strong when you're trying to eat it together with the pineapple. So when I'm peeling my pineapple, I make sure I get rid of those black heads. Now I'm going to remove the remaining. Keep doing this until you get rid of all the blackheads. That's if you want to, because some people don't don't mind. They can eat it like that, but me, I don't like it. Now that the pineapple is neat, go ahead and start cutting it to smaller sizes. In a way, the blender can carry it. and I'll remove that the center is very strong I normally remove it when I peel my pineapple I'll chop the pineapple into pieces now I'll set the side Go over to the lemon. We start peeling off the skin because we don't need it. Make sure you remove the white uh, layer. This whitish layer because I don't need it as well. Then you cut into pieces and set aside.
the ginger is already washed and clean I'm not going to peel the skin off I'll just go ahead and chop the ginger like that then we'll start blending Once your ingredients are ready, as you can see, you can now start to add them or in a blender and blend until it is smooth and nice. I'll start by adding up my pineapple. I'll be doing this batch by batch. Because my blender is too small and cannot contain all at the same time. This is how I normally make my pineapple juice. I, I normally add a twist, kind of different taste to it, and it's so nice. I encourage you to try it. If you try it, maybe you will not want to be eating your pineapple like that to always go this way it's so nice and it gives it extra taste like I just love it so I'm going to strain with this because I don't have a strainer this is what I'm going to use to strain my pineapple juice hold it like this and all the juice will just keep drawing and keep dropping out until it's all nice I love using this it gives me perfect straining honestly and it's easy for the second batch This is what I got. When you're done straining, pour in a glass and enjoy. Normally, when I when I use pineapple that is not sweet, I will add honey for this one. The pineapple is so sweet, I'm not going to add any honey. No. This pineapple is extremely sweet. So I'm not adding extra sweetness to it. I'm adding some ice. Then go ahead and enjoy. So I'm going to store the rest of the pineapple juice. special pineapple juice because when you try it trust me you're going to love it thank you guys so much for watching and remember to hit that subscribe button see you in my next video